What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Today we're gonna to be doing a initial impressions slash unboxing review, if you will, of the Flare Frogging and Flippin' Stick. Now this thing out of the box is sharp. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, I've also done a Lunkers TV Defender Rod and a John B. Rigged Rod review. I'll link those down in the description. Please feel free to check those out. I guarantee you'll enjoy them. With that being said, let's jump right into today's video. All right, so first things first, before we start this off, you guys, wow. I am literally just absolutely speechless. I asked you guys, I asked something of you guys. I asked you if you could get the, the Rig Rod review to 100 likes. That thing shot up to like 100, 200, and 300 in a day's time frame. That's just absolutely, that's crazy, guys. I, you guys mean the world to me, you know? God, you guys are just absolutely freaking awesome. I love every last one of you. All right, so looks right out of the box. Like I said, this thing is sharp. I'm really liking the Hunter Orange uh, on that black. I think that looks really, really good. It's even got some cork on it, which complements the orange really well, I feel like. Uh, also love what they've done with uh, adding that carbon fiber type look as well. That looks, I mean, this rod just looks sharp. This is a seven foot three, extra heavy, moderate fast action rod. Um, if you guys don't understand the whole moderate, medium, fast, super extra fast, whatever, I'll put a picture right here uh, that can better explain it than I can. But that's gonna make this rod good for, I mean, you could even jig fish with this rod. What that does is this allows this rod to be just extremely sturdy. So you don't have to worry about, you know, you take it to a river or something like that where, you know, there's no telling what you're gonna catch. Uh, and this rod will stand up to it. The Flare Frogging and Flipping Stick is gonna run you $100 on Favorites website or in your Cabela's if you have a Cabela's near you that carries these rods. Um, I believe, I could be wrong, I don't know everything, this is the only size that Favorite and Flare offer in this rod. Uh, now, will they come out with more? I, I, I don't know, you know, what else do you need? Uh, maybe this exact rod in a 7.6 or something like that? I feel like this rod is fine. You just get a ton of backbone with this thing. I mean, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. So one thing that I do wanna mention real quick about this rod is the line guides. It goes, it starts with the regular size, just a big one, and then it gets, the, the second line guide is kind of a little smaller, and then you get micro guides from there on out. What that does is that allows you to be able to cast further and more accurate. So with a topwater, if you're fishing a buzz bait or a frog or something like that, and you've got to get it just over that piece of wood or, or just in that little patch of, of lily pads or whatever, you're going to be able to do that, obviously, with some practice but you're definitely gonna be able to do that with this rod. So I got to fish with this thing Saturday, all day long in a tournament, and it stood up phenomenally. It was just, I mean, I, you couldn't, I couldn't ask for to have a better topwater rod, um, or you know, a jig rod or a frog rod or something like that. And this thing is just absolutely incredible. Uh, I threw everything from tiny, like half ounce spooks, all the way up to, uh, I think, three quarter ounce buzz baits. Uh, I was throwing the 110 Whopper ploppers on it, and it just, it handled everything just phenomenally. So the reason that I chose this rod um, is I bought a Lunkers TV Defender rod in November of last year, and right after he released them, uh, I took a gamble on it. I was like, you know what, that, it looks really cool, like obviously in the Army, patriotic. I was like, it's an American flag rod, why not? I like Lunkers, I like the rod, all right, sure. So I bought it and I just absolutely fell in love with it. The, the way it felt, the, the how light it was, just, I mean, it was just, everything about that rod was perfect. So when the guys released these rods right here, I was like, I already love the Lunkers rod and, and these guys put so much of their time and effort into making these things, uh, you know, perfecting them. Spending time on the water, just fishing with tons of different prototypes. And this is the one they chose. And knowing that, I know that when I buy one of these rods, it's gonna be 100% top-notch quality. And I'm A-OK -okay with that. So for those that are interested, uh, with this orange right here, I will be pairing this rod up with a 13 Fishing Concept Z when they come out. I think they come out in like March or April of 2018. Uh, with this orange and the Concept Z being this bright hunter orange like this, that is gonna look so dope. All right guys, definitely, definitely stick around the channel. I'm gonna be doing a review on the AP Bassin rod uh, next week. So you guys don't want to miss that. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Let us work for it. Let Yak Pack, Yak Pack Outdoors, let us earn 
your subscription. There's a little red box right here if you're watching on your uh, computer. If you're on your cell phone, it's uh, right above the description. A little red box says subscribe. Go ahead and smash that button. With all that being said, I'm going to challenge you guys. I'm going to challenge you guys. I really feel like we can do this. I really feel like the Yak Pack Nation can do this. 150 likes on this video. Can we do it? I think we can do it. I think you guys can do it. You guys are just awesome. All right, guys. With all that being said, I am going to go get something to eat. I am starving. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch y'all next time.